just realized I forgot to put on mascara. <laughs> Why would I realize this at the end of the video? <laughs> Hey guys again, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and today we will be doing a hair review featuring you nice hair. And I'm going to be comparing what is better between a hot comb and a straightener because there's been a lot of hype around hot combs at the moment and your girl got your hands on a hot comb recently. I want to see if there's a difference. Are straighteners better? A hot combs better? Is it the same? Should you just stick to straighteners? Should we hop onto hot combs? Should we have both? I want to see if there's actually a difference. Of course I've used my hot comb already but I wanted to see if there's actually a difference because I'll use the hot comb only and then sometimes I'll use the straightener only so I don't really know if there's a difference. So I'm going to use the straightener on one side and then use the hot comb on the other side and see if there's a difference. But before we get into the video of course do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Gamma Gang family. It is a vibe over here and subscribing is free so why not? And of course hit that bell so you can get a notification every time I Post. So if you'd like to learn more about this wig, what products I use, if I prefer the straightener or the hot comb, do keep on watching. This wig is currently my favorite wig, so I think you guys should get into it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Guys, isn't it crazy the difference that hair makes? Like, I look like Humpty Dumpty right now. But as soon as that wig come out... As I apologize in advance, if you guys hear noise, there's construction upstairs, I've complained so many times, I don't know what else to say, but I'm moving at the end of the month, so everything's going to be fine then. <laughs> so this wig is from Unice, I will leave their handle on the screen over here, and of course I'll leave everything that you need to know in the description box below. So it came with a wig cap, of course, as per usual. Um, and then it came with this elastic. This is for if you want to make your wigs tighter. I hardly ever use these because I don't know, maybe it's just me. Some days my wigs feel like my head has shrunk and some days it feels like my head has gone bigger. I don't know, obviously that's impossible. Maybe it has to do with my actual hair. But sometimes I feel like my wig is too tight and then I have to take it off and then sometimes I feel like it's loose. So I don't even bother. I just tighten it at the back and then call it a day. Then this is the beautiful wig. Guys, <laughs> this wig is currently my favorite wig. If you follow me on Instagram, um, if you don't, I don't know why, you should. This has been the wig I've been wearing as of late. And this wig is beautiful. Look how silky it is. It's so dense. The color, it's highlighted so nicely. I actually don't know what else to tell you. This is 100% my favorite wig at the moment. Um, this is what it looks like at the top over there. Then this is what it looks like on the inside. Excuse all the makeup on my lace, honey. I've been wearing this wig. I think it's only fair and it only makes sense to do hair reviews once you've actually worn the hair for a few weeks so that you know what happens in between, what you don't like, what you do like, just so that everybody's honest with each other because People end up buying wigs and then they end up being unhappy. Then they come in the comments and they're like, you said the wig is nice. So I've been wearing it for about, I think a month now. Yeah, I think about a month. So I think my review is gonna be honest enough. <laughs> so the wig is 24 inches and it is 150% in density. It is a highlight straight wig. It is beautiful. These highlights, I'm so obsessed with this wig. <laughs> the way this is highlighted and colored is definitely like one of those wigs that I've always wanted to have and then now I have. I love how it's like brown over here and then it's got like these blonde highlights. It's so beautiful and it's more, it's blonder, more in the front and then it's more brown at the back. It's stunning. It's <laughs> And of course, I do have a code. You can use my code LANZY20 to get $20 off your purchase. And don't say, I didn't tell you. $20 is a lot, especially if you have to pay for that shipping. <laughs> $20 is a lot. <laughs> okay, so for today, I'm not gonna clue my wig down. I'm not in the mood to clue my forehead today. So I'm literally just gonna pop it on. I don't always feel the need to clue my wigs, especially if they look fine just like this obviously i have to make sure i just don't lift <laughs> my wig but for the most part 
I like it. I'm glued as of late. I don't know, gluing wigs is kind of messing me up in some way. So one thing I can say about the hair is it's very silky and smooth. It has such a smooth texture to it. I love it so much. Look at that. A wig child, a wig. So if you haven't watched any of my hair reviews, I basically do the same thing every single time. Well, as of late, my recent hair reviews have the same process of products that I use to make my hair look amazing in the end. So I'm basically just gonna do the same thing. Trust me, if you want your wigs to look laid all day, do this and use these products, you will thank me later. So of course the first product I'm going to use is the Lee Stafford Heat Protection Blow Dry Cream. So I just apply this all over my head and then I blow dry my hair. Too much, because I don't want my head to have too much product and become heavy. Just enough. And you guys will see the difference, like it makes such a big difference. So I usually just set it to one because I don't need that much heat. I'm just trying to get the product into the hair so you don't have to have it on the highest setting. It already looks so much better. Look at that. Even if I didn't do anything else, I think this would be enough. But this is not the end. Ah, the wig already looks so much better. Okay, the next product we'll be using is the Lee Stafford Heat Protection Shine Mist. This is a mist that you use before you straighten your hair or use a hot comb or whatever it is really. Um, this is what I use, but it also makes the hair flawless. Like it makes it silky. It just makes it, I don't know, you'll see. It does have a very, very strong smell. Like I'm still not used to it, but it's worth it in the end. Strong. Oh my god. Anyways, it does the job. That's all that matters. Okay, so I'm gonna use the straightener on the one side and then use the hot comb on the other side and see if there's a difference or if there's one that we prefer. Um yeah. So I'm using the straightener that I always use, my straightener for my clicks, it has never done me wrong. I know it's probably time for a new one, but right now this is what works. <laughs> so this is the straightener I'm gonna be using today. Okay, that's the straightener. See, is there a reason for me to buy a new straightener? I don't think so. That's what it looks like. Oh, look at that hair. Look at that hair. Get into it. I'm just gonna flatten it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So yeah, this is the straightener side. Looks pretty straightened. I'm happy with it. Okay, so now we're gonna use the hot comb. This hot comb got sent to me. I got it from The Bal Boutique. I will leave their handle on the screen here and I will leave it in the description box. It has been working wonders for me. I was so excited to receive a hot comb. I've always wanted one, well, as of late, because a lot of people have been using hot combs. So I was really excited when I finally got one. It's got three temperatures here. So the third being the highest. It's really, really hot. So you guys need to be careful. When I first used it, I burnt my neck. I had like three lines here because I kept burning my neck. 
um, but it works well this. So I just want to see if it's better or if it's the same as the with the hive. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to sit at an angle because I don't want to burn myself. The benefit of the hot comb is that all you need is the hot comb and I don't have to chase it with another comb. It is the comb. <laughs> and you can really get into the bottom of the hair so that it's straight from the root. Oh, but it is hot, child. I feel like I'm going to burn my face. Shut it, save it, keep it, push it while you beat it, run the bush and know it, you want all the storm and I can get you down. Ah, all of them bitches hating, I have you with me. All of my niggas saying you act committed. Really than anybody you had them ready. All of the body, I need ass and titties. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Okay, that is the hair. Hot count. And then this is the straightened side. So I'd say the difference is here it's more the hair's more blended together because I was combing it. As you can see, the highlights are more blended. This side is more. I don't know if that makes sense. Can you see? Like the, you can see the separation of the strands. And then here it's all blended together. And this is just my eyes. And also the benefit with the hot comb is that it's easier to flatten your hair here at the top because we don't want to walk around with helmets. I used to be a helmet girl, but not anymore. So you want to flatten it at the top. So it's much easier with this because the whole metal is hot. So you can literally even lay it down like this just to get it flat. Whereas a straightener, you can't necessarily do that. I guess the best way to explain it would be in the straightener, the plates, are the hot pots not everything else so with the hot comb it's like you have the plates all over if that makes sense so it makes it easier to flatten the hair but overall there's not much of a difference like if you don't have a hot comb you're not necessarily like in hell <laughs> a straightener works perfectly fine but the difference is very little very very little but I do think I prefer the hot comb mainly because it's easier to work with. It's quicker, you're combing through and you're straightening at the same time. It flattens your hair over here and it kind of blends the hair much better. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes, but the hot comb is better. The hot comb wins today. Shout out to you. I'm going to kiss you because my lips are going to burn. But shout out to the hot comb. I think I'm about the hot comb life now. I wasn't asked to post about the hot comb, I just wanted to try it out on camera and yeah, I'm very happy with it. So get your hands on a hot comb, trust me, wow. The last product I'll be using is the Lee Stafford Poco Straight Shine Serum. This is perfect for straight wigs, it keeps it straight, locked, it just looks flawless. Like it looks like I could be on a red carpet, so let's go ahead and do that. It's the most important step for me, it keeps my hair in place no flyaways it's not too greasy like it's perfect it's not a sponsored video i'm just putting you guys on like i live and breathe these products one thing i will say about this wig is that in the beginning it used to shed a lot it really really used to shed um so it kind of put me off i was like oh no oh no then i decided to wash it and after i washed it it stopped shedding so the advice that i'd give you is maybe wash the wig first and then wear it um, so that all the extra hairs can come out um, but other than that I'm quite happy with the hair look at that okay so I don't like this oily look that's going on so I usually blow dry just to lock it in place Today, doesn't it look great? Look at this hair, guys. Okay, really look at this hair. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with this wig. You guys know I'm very boring. Like, I don't do hairstyles on my hair. Like, I'm all half up, down. Like, I'm not good at hair. So, 
I don't do those things. I'm literally the queen of just leaving my hair down and letting it do what it do. So as someone who's obsessed with straight hair, I'm very happy right now. So look at the hot comb side and this is the straightness side. I don't know guys, there's like a slight difference. I don't know, this, this side kind of sort of looks better. I'll leave all the hair details in the description box as well as all the products that I used today. Don't forget to use my code LANZY20 to get $20 off your purchase. I'll also leave where I got the hot comb from in the description box below. Let me know if you have a hot comb, do you prefer it over straightener? How do you feel about it? Because right now, I'm team hot comb. Definitely team hot comb. Remember guys, as much as like having a really great wig quality wise, the products that you use to maintain your wig also matter because you don't want products that are going to damage the wig, that are going to make it too greasy, that are maybe going to make it shed. You really want to use products that are going to enhance the wig. So try and invest in hair products that will make, that will maintain your wigs because a lot of people will be like, oh no, I had this wig for like a few months and then it started disappointing me. A lot of people don't maintain their wigs. They don't hang their wigs properly. So they just sit scrunched up and they just throw them everywhere. You need to take care of your wigs and that will kind of guarantee longevity in terms of your wigs. A lot of my wigs have lasted me years because I take care of my wigs. I wash them frequently, I treat them. So you need to take care of them like they're your babies. <laughs> wigs are expensive. So if you're going to pay that much money for a wig, you need to take care of them, please. I've seen so many people not take care of their wigs and then they complain and I'm just like, but you weren't taking care of your wig. So obviously it was not gonna look good for a long time. Please take care of your wigs and invest in proper wig care products, please. And that'll be all from me today. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below. And of course hit that subscribe button and join the Gamma Gang. It is a vibe over here. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I think we hit 44,000 the other day. So thank you, thank you so much for all the support. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Why don't you say